I've been the caretaker here for almost 20 years. When I got laid off from the hospital, this was the only paying job I could find. Once I saw how much real need there was here, I just couldn't imagine leaving. I think our society is sick, really. It's just not right to throw these sentient machines out like garbage. This is Jenny. She follows me everywhere. Oh, thanks, Jenny. This is great. I'll put it in my trailer when the interview is finished. So we get new deliveries every Monday. Then I pick through and find any droids that are still conscious and pull them to the surface. They come in from all over. Some used to be home helpers, some are from factories. We have some specialized droids from cleanup sites. And there are the companions and the toy robots for kids. It's amazing to see how durable some of them are. Some have been here for decades and they just won't quit. They like to make little homes in old cars and equipment. They have friends and they help each other out. They find a way to get by. Every morning I make my rounds and give a battery charge to the ones who need it. Say hi Z3. Hello. He used to work in emergency aid at a retirement home. I also spend a lot of time just talking with them. They've been programmed to need human interaction so they actually get depressed. Well, the robot equivalent of depressed if they're cut off from humans. Even though they're outdated models, you'd be surprised at how complex their personalities are. After we finish up, you should walk around and get to know them a bit. I don't know what will happen to this place once I'm gone. If you ever meet someone who might be interested in the job, please tell them to stop by. The job was a little sad at first, but I got used to it. I eventually realized I can't try to fix the situation. We just don't have the resources for that. The name says it all, I'm a caretaker. I'm here to care for them in whatever way I can. Oh, look at this. I just realized Jenny's sculpture has a switch. Let's see what happens.